perspective where people are so quick to say, yes, let's go digital. And from my perspective, it's not commercial cinema, it's artists making films. Um, what's, what's that going to look like in 50 years? If you can't find value, this is art on film. So, you know, you go to the Louvre, you see canvas, you, you see sculpture, you know, visual artists aren't expected to change forms because of the economy of the day. And, and this is, you know, it's, this is a complicated discussion because of the economics of preservation, restoration, exhibition. But I think it's really important that people remember this is an art form, it's art on film. And to dismiss it so easily to move to digital or to digitize it, that's preservation. That's not preservation. That's changing an art form. So I just wanted to, I mean, Adolf Ortiz is just a perfect example where his film is showing at 6 p.m. an experimental filmmaker from the 60s, and the medium was important. The materiality of film was important. And he suggested you can't compare a 35 millimeter art form to an HD or DNA projection. It's just it's not even the same thing. So I just wanted to bring that back because it seems to be lost to spread a little bit of the conversation. Yes, there's a gazillion film festival. But they're, you know, they they too, the exhibitor has the responsibility to to um, be a part of the conversation that says no, we have to respect the original form. Thank you for that, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to say was, uh, in a way, um, we also have to understand how moving to the strip is also purely functional in a place like India. So in a place where I uh, going to the conception of the community, millions of people just languishing and, and the film social media. You just cannot afford to wait for the archive to preserve and frame it. And the only thing, and this is like in a moment of desperation, in a moment of urgency, you have people uh, uh, making digital copies of films available online because you have no other option. So the in a way one of the uh, uh, one of the Spaces that have made films available to us could be even if it's the birthday boy I mean, the amount of films that have been made available to, to uh, uh, a space in which even, even contemporary Indian cinema is quite difficult to access. For example, uh, which brings me to talk about uh, yesterday's Mongolian film. The series has been archived by World Cinema Foundation. This in collaboration with uh, Doha, uh, Qatar Airways and, and Georgia Armani. That's another hybrid for the entity we have to talk about. There's a state archiving, there's a the kind of guerrilla archiving. There is also this, this strange uh, state funded yet private super. Yeah, corporate uh, 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 foundation yeah, set up by. Which is still not making easily accessible cinema. Right? Uh, because if you if, if you and, and if you see uh, consequences of this sort of archiving, where archiving has become lucrative now, you see um, uh, people who are buying rights, you see young people are buying rights to film, and then it, and then they end up archiving the film so that the double double sort of function can be funded.